You're probably hearing a lot of different phrases right now, flattening the curve, social distancing, phrases we really haven't used before. So this morning, let's break down how exponential growth works and how social distancing can stop the spread. Bloop! You see that? That's you. And you have the measles. And those, those dots around you, they have zero protection against the virus. Science tells us eventually you will infect 15 others thanks to something known as an R0. Yep, R0, a fancy term that tells you how contagious a disease is. The R0 of measles, 15. The R0 of smallpox, 6. Both are very contagious. But measles remains rare, and no one gets smallpox anymore. Credit the rise of vaccinations. An effective shield against contagion, maybe a few dots received one. Maybe that one didn't but see what it does to spread. Now let's take the new coronavirus. It's R0 of two suggests that it's not as harmful, but as you now know, no one has protection. So you and your dot will infect two, and those two will infect four, and so on and so on. In the US, the number of cases is doubling every three days, a true case of exponential growth. But let's say you decide to social distance and infect only one, not two, and that one doesn't go to work and infects no one. The end of the line. As others do the same social distance and limit interactions, the contagion slows. Exponential growth turns to linear growth. Cases increase, but at a much more manageable rate. Until there is an infective treatment or a vaccine, this represents the best odds. Not by connecting the dots, but by disconnecting them. 